Howdy, this is Tommy and welcome to another musical adventure. And I want to start today's video off by making an announcement. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed for quite some time now, I've had some problems with my videos where the autofocus is always adjusting. And so it makes my videos a pain in the neck. It's a pain in the neck for me making them, but it's also a pain in the neck for you watching them, I'm sure. Uh, but to rectify that situation, I have purchased a brand new camera specifically for making these videos for you, and hopefully it's an upgrade. Let me know what you think. And so, because I have a new camera, I thought I'd do a video. And this is a video that's kind of been going around for a while, but um, so I'm late to the party on this, and, and just for the sake of trying out the new camera, giving it a trial run, and, and seeing how we are, I'm going to go through my top 10 most valuable records according to Discogs. Now, I have some stuff that actually that are in my Discogs collection uh, that is probably mixed in with this, but they're kind of CD box sets and things like that. And so I didn't include that. I, I thought I would just strictly limit this to vinyl uh, and records. And so I kind of went through and just, just kind of went through the 10. I'm not going to give amounts. I went with the median uh, price on there uh, just based on what the median cost is because some of these may not be worth as much as as the median they may not be they're probably not worth as much as the as the high end but uh, you know I don't know if you're familiar with Discogs but there's a high there's a median and there's kind of a low and and so it's it's a great way to price records I trust it so um, you know that having said that let's go through my top 10 most valuable records according to Discogs. Uh, number 10 is Judy Seal. Uh, this is heart food. Probably not in the best shape. You can see some damage there on the bottom. Uh, this is an Asylum release. This is a great record. Uh, and the LP itself is actually in very, very, very good shape. Um, and, and so it's a, it's a great record. Uh, fantastic music and of course I, I found this in the wild at a pretty decent price and and snagged it because you know it's just one of those records I, I've never seen another one uh, it's been reissued and I think the reissues have been uh, you know highly touted but this is an original and so that adds to the value of that one the next few are kind of interesting I, one of the reasons I wanted to do this was because it's it's a uh, it's kind of a varied list as you, as as you'll see as we go through them. But the next one on the list is the Foo Fighters. In your honor, this is a four LP box of this particular album. I don't know how many Foo Fighter fans are out there, but I bought this when it came out, brand new. I'm not going to open it and go through it just because it's such a hassle. But uh, but this is actually. Uh, gone up in value because this came out like in the mid 2000s I think around 2004 uh, was the release date on this 2004 2005 maybe and um, not a lot of people were buying vinyl at this point and so records uh, were, were kind of scarce this is a really neat box uh, it's a half speed kind of master it's got an embossed cover on it uh, but uh, yeah Foo Fighters in your honor the next couple uh, probably won't be too surprising. This is the uh, White Stripes Third Man Records Vault Package for Icky Thump, the Icky Thump 10th Anniversary Box. Again, I'm not going to open this up just because it's such a there's so much in there. But um, as you can tell, this is a pretty uh, extensive box, and of course these vault packages are are limited. But this is the uh, this has the demos on it. Uh, some extras, the B-sides and extra tracks, and Icky Thump, 10th anniversary. Uh, pretty loaded, pretty loaded set. The next one is also a vault package, and a really, really nice vault package at that. This is the Jack White, live at Bonnaroo, uh, 2014. It is a three-record set, and I think this is the first vault package I actually bought. Again, I'm not going not gonna to open it up just because there's, just, there's so much in there. This came with a DVD in addition to the three records. Uh, but it's a really, really cool set, um, and, you know, uh, kind of captures uh, Jack White on that uh, Blunderbuss tour. The next one uh, is one that I've picked up in the last year. This is Nick Drake's Pink Moon. 
This is a later pressing. This isn't an original pressing, but this is uh, on the island label. And I want to say this is around 77, 78 maybe. Uh, so it's kind of a mid, mid tier pressing. Really clean copy. Uh, really nice. Uh, it plays very, very well. Uh, and so stoked to have uh, a copy of this. I actually have all three Nick Drake albums in my collection, but this is the one on the valuable list, so that's why I'm showing it. Another one, again, this is such a strange and varied combination, but uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, the mono mix, this is the one from 2013, uh, and so or 2014, whenever it came out. I'm trying to get my... Of course, there's the back with the all the stuff on it. Again, it's weird that this is a recent uh, a recent release, but uh, I know back in the day uh, a mono copy of Sgt. Pepper was so hard to come by. Um, it was just a it was a grail record for the longest time. It was one of the more expensive records that was out there. Uh, and so it's interesting that you know when this came out on vinyl, um, you know a few years back. Uh, it's weird, a record less than 10 years old can, can be worth as much. And of course, you know, I don't have a lot of high, high, high-end value, valued records in my collection too, so that probably has something to do with it. But uh, it's funny that this one is, is again, a, a sought-after valuable release. And so, Sgt. Pepper and the Mono Mix. The next one is, and I don't know what number we're on, uh, this is my original copy of Radio City's Big Star uh, Big Stars Radio City. I said that a little backwards. Uh, as you can tell, there's some damage on it. Uh, it's not in the best shape. The, the record is, is kind of scuffed. But it, it does play. Uh, there's no, no skips or anything, so it's, it's, it, does, it does play through. I'd like to maybe upgrade this copy if I could ever find one. Uh, but, you know, again, it's a rare record, and... Um, you know, I paid almost next to nothing for this, so it was a, it was a lucky find, uh, if anything. But Radio City by Big Star, and I think we're moving into the top three now. The next one is a thrift store find, Roger Nichols and the Small Circle of Friends. Uh, I actually paid a buck for this. It's a mono copy. I know it's a stereo copy. Sorry. Um, and it's a record... Um, that uh, very, very valuable, very rare. Not, not a lot of these out there. Uh, this is in great shape. It plays fantastic. I've only seen one other copy of this in the wild, and I think it was priced at like 150 bucks, uh, which, which may be high. I don't know, but uh, this is a valuable record, and for a dollar uh, at a thrift store, pretty good. Uh, so here are the top two, the final two, and this is another Big Star record. This is my original copy of Number One Record, the first record by Big Star. Um, again, very valuable record. Now this one is in considerably better shape than my copy of Radio City, and so um, I will not have a need to upgrade on this one. But um, again, uh, a valuable record, a rare record, because I think so few of these made it out of Memphis, and, and particularly, uh, you know, the, the ones that did, you know, probably didn't survive very well. Um, but anyway, so it's not a surprise that both Big Star records would be, you know, in a valuable records list. And so finally, the last record, the number one most valuable record that I own in my entire collection of records, uh, funny enough, is not even an album, but it's a 45. This is the Jack White single for Would You Fight For My Love with Parallel on the B-side. Uh, now, here's the thing. What makes this record so valuable, uh, and you third man record collectors will be able to attest to this, this is a famed tricolor. I actually bought this uh, from the Rolling Record Store, uh, the Third Man Rolling Record Store. I did a video on that a while back, and I think I got this when the rec I've, I've seen the record store, the Rolling Record Store twice, uh, and I think this is the one I got when they came to Jackson, Mississippi to Offbeat, and um, this is a famed um, tricolor. Like I said, these tricolors, they only press so many copies. Um, there's a nice embossed inner sleeve there, 
with the Third Man logo on it. Uh, I don't know if that's that special. I think some of them actually come with a um, like a like a jukebox um, tag. I don't think this one has one. But anyway, this is "Would You Fight for My Love" by Jack White. Of all the and of course again, this thing came out in 2014. Uh, of all the records that, <laughs> of all the records that uh, that that I own, all the old records, all the Beatles records, all the Bob Dylan, of all the records I own, this 45 is the most valuable in in my collection. Um, so I don't know if that says anything about the value of my collection. I probably just have a lot of mid tier records. Uh, and again, value is such a weird thing. I'm, I'm reluctant to even do a video like this because. Um, Records are worth what they are to you. Um, there may be a record that, that's priceless to me that, that's not worth a lot. And so, you know, the, the question is, you know, is the music good? Do you enjoy the music? And, and, and that's what it's really supposed to be about. Uh, but in light of having a new camera and needing a topic and needing something to discuss, that's what I did. So the main thing is, what do you think of the quality of this video? Comment down below. I love interacting with you guys. Um, I'm learning some things. I'm probably going to have to get some stuff to upgrade uh, as we go on some adventures. Um, but that's down the line. I just wanted to shoot something really quick just to just to kind of have a test run and, and see how this was. Uh, so I hope that we get a thumbs up. Like the video. Uh, if so, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, and again, those of you who comment regularly, um, you know that I, that I always try to respond and interact with you guys. Uh, and I try to watch as many videos as I can. I just usually don't have the time to do it as much as I'd like, but I think that's true for, for most of us. Um, but anyway, uh, hit that bell, get notified when there's new content, especially if you're subscribed. And uh, like I said, comment. And I will see you guys again with another musical adventure. In the meantime, I'm asking you to please Save the Texas Prairie Chicken. Good night.